morning, good morning. Looks like somebody needs a trailer repair here. <laughs> Luckily he's here at the shop here in Steinbach, Manitoba. And uh, we do have a uh, scale right here. Oh, that's our dispatcher, Kevin. And I'm going to scale this load because we got a load of peat moss. Good thing that Penners does have a scale up here, so let's make sure we are legal. All right, we are sitting at 11,990 pounds. Bang on the money. Bang on the money, the way we like it. Got the little screen right there on the wall there, so. We're setting at 33,370 pounds on the drives. So let's get the trailer on there and weigh that and then uh, we'll know if we're legal. It's extremely important to scale your load, you know, like, and I know it's peat moss, so it's even more important, you know, because that's all these heavy stuff, so. So let's go check out the weight there and then I'll be right back, guys. We are bang on the money, like 31,500 on the trailer, so we are good to go. Now I'm just going to go pull forward here a little bit and then uh, we'll do our logbook. I got it all ready to go already, I just got to mark it where I come on duty and, and then it'll be good to go. Go. Let's just quickly do our log book up and then we'll be out of here. Ah. We are going to Huntsville, Texas. That's a long way to go. We got three days to drive there so. Well, they're giving us enough time to do it. Usually Panthers is pretty good for uh, giving us uh, a lot of time to do our deliveries, you know. Normally we are pretty good, like Panthers is usually very, very good to do that. So let's just mark this here and uh, that way. Uh, The DUT knows when we started our logbook, you know. There we go, we got that part done. Now we just gotta send dispatch a message that we picked up the trailer. All right. You guys probably have never seen me have this here before, but uh, this is how we receive our messages and uh, how we send the uh, messages to our dispatches so we get our load offers I picked up trailer number 4334 always check the seal because sometimes it doesn't match the paperwork and then you have a problem when you come to the border so always make sure that you do check the seal number that it matches the paperwork otherwise you might be in trouble yeah, so there we go. We fire that off to dispatch. Uh, no, we gotta buckle up and uh, get the heck out of here. There we go. Put her in gear and we are out of here. Yeah, there we go. No, I know this is gonna be a good day. We got our wheels polished up and we are heading to Texas, a really warm country, part of the country. And it's a nice long trip, it's good miles. Oh yeah, we love it, we love it, definitely. I know they have the uh, summer and the city fair here going on in Steinbach today. 
would have been nice if I could have attended it, but uh, could have shown you guys a lot of good, cool stuff up there, but we got to work too. I've been home almost all week already. I got home Monday morning and today is Friday. We got to scan this cart to open the gate. Looks like all the traffic is coming around this way too because of the uh, Main Street is shut down, eh? You can't get onto Main Street. Yes, that's where they have the fair. Look at this pretty cool pickup here. This blue one right here coming up on the screen here. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's a pretty cool looking uh, pickup there. Here we go, and we are out of here. We're gonna hightail out of town, as they say. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we're self a great, meters. awesome Turn day. Thank you guys 52. for joining me today. I hope you get to enjoy my travel towards Texas. Me and my wife looked it up uh, on YouTube there when the uh, last time I was in Texas. And we believe it was on January 18th. That was the last time he was in that in Texas. So a lot of you uh, subscribers have probably never ever seen me go to Texas yet. So that's going to be something new for you guys. Here we go, guys. We are officially in the United States of America. Oh yeah. Welcome to North Dakota, the Valley of Region. Whatever that means. <laughs> we are in the United States and it just about stopped raining. Oh, it's been raining there pretty much for the last hour, I would say. For almost hour, so we are good to go. No, it looks pretty uh, bright over there. Further south, it looks like it's clearing up, so should probably be good to go but even if we get rain it's still better than snow right oh yeah so let's put the hammer down and uh, get somewhere south towards Texas oh yeah alrighty guys we stopped here in Watertown South Dakota for a little bit of a pit stop I had stopped earlier in uh, Fargo, North Dakota already for a little bit. Had my half an hour off over there. I was over there at the Mexican Restaurante. Had me a good bite to eat over there. They had really, really good food over there. Now we had to take a pit stop over here and do a little bit of a circle check and take care of some business. Now it's time to get back on the road and get further south. Further south. I just had to turn in the red, feet, eh? Take the entrance to the left on I-29 South. All right, let's get out of here and uh, get on the highway as soon as we can and put the hammer down. Here we go. We are back on the highway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. We got about an hour, hour and a half. City, I believe Sioux City South Dakota gonna go down there to the fly and J and that's probably as far as I'm gonna drive today I don't think I really even need to continue driving today if I really don't want to I, I could actually stop right now and be all right only have 1109 kilometers, to, I mean miles to go, 1109 miles. And I'm already at my delivery place and I got two more days to drive it in, so I really only have to do 550 miles each day if I would have just stayed there in Watertown. Yeah, I just figured I'd go another 100 miles or so. I think the GPS said it was like 91 miles or something like that to the Flying J, so yeah, just gonna go down there. At least we get a few extra miles in today. Still early, it's only 5 uh, 10 at 
drive actually. We are still in good shape. Alrighty guys, we are in Sioux Falls, South Dakota right now at the Fly and J. And we are finished for today, yes. Yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle for me today for uh, driving here the last little while. I've been quite, I don't know, I should say, like, been off too long, I think I should say. I'm not, almost lost uh, the use to drive. <laughs> it's like, I made it for a long day, even though I didn't do that many miles, you know, so... I mean, I probably only drove about eight and a half hours, so, which is not really that long of a drive for me, you know. Normally I do 10 or 11, especially here in the US. Canada, I might even do 13 or 12 and a half, so, yeah, so it's been a bit of a struggle to drive today, but whatever, that's okay, that's the way it goes sometimes. Luckily for me, this load is not in a hurry, so. I only delivered there Monday morning and we only got about a thousand and thirty miles to go so you know we don't have to drive that much tomorrow and the day after to get there so shouldn't be a problem right but anyways just closing up the show and figure we have to say goodbye and hope to hopefully we will see you again tomorrow so uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.